Happy Monday, my soul sweet sorors and amikai. I'm Minister Terrelene Campbell of your International Interfaith Team, and I am excited to share with you on this week's Motivational Monday segment. You know how we do. We first and foremost have to give honor where honor is due. And that is to our five phenomenal founders. We are grateful for them. We're grateful for the legacy that they established. And we're grateful to be torchbearers of their great legacy as we are now in year 101 in Zeta. We also want to give respect to and honor to our international grand basilisk, Grand Valerie Hollingsworth Baker. Thank you for all that you do for this sisterhood. And then I want to give respect as well and honor to our international chaplain and the director of the International Interfaith Team, Reverend Dr. Jalene Chase. She is a phenomenal woman and has a heart for serving the sisterhood and lifting us higher. Sora's and Namikai, during my last Motivational Monday segment with you, I shared that I want to, I would be bringing to you on subsequent Motivational Mondays some affirmations. It is very important during this time that we say the right things to ourselves, about ourselves, and to one another. And so with that in mind, I also thought about the fact that Proverbs 18 and 21 says life and death are in the power of our tongue and that we would reap, we would eat the fruits that we speak. And so it's again, very important that we are saying the right things to ourselves first and foremost. So last time, my affirmation that I shared with you is simply, I'm more than enough. You are more than enough. And today's affirmation, this week's affirmation that I trust will help you go through these turbulent times is simply this. You've got to tell yourself sometimes that I will, will make it through this. This is a season of unprecedented struggle, unprecedented trials, unprecedented loss for some. But you know what? This can also be a season of unprecedented growth, unprecedented release, and unprecedented reaching up to higher levels if we allow it to be that as well. I know Sora Amikai sisters, that it is hard to believe, but things really will get better. They really will get better. No matter what you are going through, I want you to realize that things will get better. You will make it through what you were going through. You don't have to be stuck where you are. Trials are here. We've got some mountains to climb. Climb. We've got some storms to tunnel through, but the storms will pass over. There's a song that I remember Reverend Timothy Wright singing. This is, I'm dating myself a little bit, but I was younger. Um, but there was a song that said, I'm so glad trouble don't last always. I'm so glad trouble don't last always. And then they went on to, to quote the scripture say, weeping may endure for a night. But then the song said, if you keep the faith, it will be all right. Yeah, you will make it through this. You got to tell yourself that. You know, sometimes you got to you got to sit there, you may sit on the couch or sit on in a chair on the side of the bed even. You may have to regroup. You you may hold your head a little bit, but once you come to your senses, uh, you got to remember, I will make it through this. You know what I'm reminded of? I'm reminded of the three Hebrew boys in the Old Testament, in the book of Daniel. You know, for the for many, this past year has felt like you were in a fiery furnace. For many, this past year felt like the fire, the temperature, if you will, had been turned up in your life. But we too, like those three Hebrew boys, we have the blessing of the fourth man in the fire with us. Yeah, 
just like that fourth man was in the fire with them, there is someone in the fire. I've come to tell you, my sister, there is someone else who is in the fire with you, who's in the fire with you. And so you've got to keep the faith that you will, you will, you will make it through this. And as I leave you this day, I want to share with you something. This was in a, a gift box that I received. It says, I know it may be a little difficult to read, but it says, this is in a gift basket again that I received. It says, let your faith be bigger than your fears. Yeah, let your faith, I'm gonna say that again, be bigger than your fears. All kinds of emotions are, we've experienced all kinds of them in, 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 at this particular season in our nation and in our respective lives. lives. But I encourage you, Although you may feel fear, although you may feel anxiety, I encourage you to let your faith be bigger than your fears because you've got the knowledge and the assurance that you will make it through this time in your life. You will come out of the fire. The temperature may have been turned up, but you will come through it. Let us have a quick word of prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you. We thank you for being that other man, that other one in the fire with us. We thank you for an assurance that if we keep the faith, if we allow, if we make sure that our faith is bigger than our fears, if we don't allow our fears to overshadow our faith, if we don't allow our situation to overshadow our faith, if we remain assured that you are with us, that we will make it through this. I lift up every sister, every one who has gone through such an emotionally challenging time that they are wondering whether or not they will get through. I lift up our essential workers. I lift up those in hospitals, those who work in hospitals, those who are in medical professions, those who are public servants, our police, our military, our social workers, those who still come in contact with the public on a daily basis. And I pray, kind Father, that you would give them especially an assurance today that they too, they will get through what they are going through. Remind them that trouble does not last always. This is our prayer in the name of Jesus, amen. Bless you and have a wonderfully blessed week. And I pray that you are able to say to yourself, no matter what you're facing, I will, I will, I'll make it through. Have a great day.